Good guys, today my granddad's going to hand me my 10 favourite books, ranging from 10th to 1st, so let's get into it. Okay, so my 10th favourite book, so we're going to go from 10 to 1, is The Ichabog by J.K. Rowling. It's a really good book, and I'll read the blurb out. It says, as as tall as two horses, eyes like glowing balls of fire, long razor sharp claws, the Ichabog is coming. Um, so that's the blurb. I really recommend reading it. I'm not going to give it away, so I'm just going to read the blurbs. Okay, so nine, the Christmasaurus and the Naughty List. The blurb is, you know about the Naughty List, right? <laughs> so that's my ninth favourite. It's by Tom Fletcher. And then my eighth favourite is the uh, the 78 story treehouse. I have the whole series, except the newest one, which I think is 158 or something like that. Uh, but the, this one is, they live in the coolest treehouse. They've been doing some building work and now their treehouse has a scribblatorium, a giant unhatched egg, an open air movie theatre, showing our very own treehouse movie. So this is by Andy Griffiths and Terry Denton. And they're actually the characters in the story. So that's really good. And number seven is The Great Escape, Tum Tum and Nutmeg. It's by Emily Bean. And I think the whole, the whole like, uh, two, three and four are all in my top ten. Um, this one does not have, no, doesn't have a blurb, but it's really good. Let me just check. Yeah, it doesn't have a blurb, but it's still a great book. So I really recommend reading it. And then six is The Seaside Adventure in Tum Tum and Nutmeg, Emily Bean. So it looks like the same kind of thing. Five, the pirate's treasure and the bean, some tub and nutmeg. Yeah. Um, then we've got Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone Illustrated Edition. And it is so cool. It's really special. It's illustrated by Tim K and obviously written by J.K. Rowling. Seeing Jim Kay's illustrations moved me pro profound profoundly. I love his interpretation of Harry Potter's world. And I feel honoured and grateful that he's lent his talent to it, J.K. Rowling. So J.K. Rowling said that, and she really wanted him to illustrate her books. So they made an illustrated copy. Three, The Wind in the Willows. It's a great book. It's by Kenneth Graham. And it's like all about like badgers and animals. And yeah, you know, like I'm obsessed with animals, so it's a great book for me. Um, they it's just, yeah, really good. I have, I have really no words. This is two. And this is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets illustrated. Um, and this is, J.K. Rowling also said the same thing on the back of each book. So I have the Chamber of Secrets. I only have the two because they're really expensive to buy. And then this is my favourite is Maggie Blue by Anna Goodall. It's a really good book. I've just finished reading it. And I will read you the blurb. The blurb's quite long, but the blurb is Maggie Blue has always been happy to stay under the radar. The only people who notice her are her eccentric aunt Esme and her beautiful Ida, a fellow pupil who takes great pleasure in being mean to Maggie. Only Miss Kane, the new counsellor at school, shows her any kindness. When Ida disappears and no one seems to know what might have happened to her, no one except Maggie, with Hoagie, the iris... Ir iris... Can't say that. I'll just show you. <laughs> cat. Talking cat by her side. Maggie finds herself entering a world very different to her own. A world where happiness is co is, is a commodity. A world that Maggie is connected to in a way that she never believed was possible. So that's the blurb to Maggie Blue. Um, the Dark World. And this is Anna Goodall's, I think, first book. So please go and read it. It's really good. So, yeah. Um, thank you for watching. Um, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell. Please try and get me to like 40 subscribers because I'm five or six away. Um, so yeah, see you later. Bye.